Thomas Kelly's parents have become strong campaigners against alcohol fueled violence in the wake of their son being brutally attacked and killed in Sydney's King's Cross in July 2012. They've launched a foundation in Thomas's name and one of its key initiatives is the installation of more security cameras to catch and deter mindless thuggery. I think if everyone recognises that there's security and you cannot get away with this, the police now have your faces on camera and you just can't get away with it anymore and it'll make people think twice. With parents Ralph and Kathy Kelly looking on, Madeline Kelly, along with fellow Foundation member Chris Lee, handed over a new surveillance camera to Sydney City Council on Friday. I really hope that it goes some way to making this part of King's Cross a safer area. In July 2012, Thomas Kelly was last seen innocently heading up Victoria Street, King's Cross, with his new girlfriend. Moments later, he walked into a surveillance blind spot and was set upon. That was the last shot, so he literally got another 12 foot feet before he was hit and he was out of vision of the camera. Thomas died after a one-punch assault by drunk teenager Kieran Loveridge. Tragically, he isn't the only teenager to lose their life here. Last New Year's Eve, Daniel Christie was allegedly attacked in the same spot. He died 11 days later. I think the fact that Daniel and Thomas both, you know, both appeared and were you know, nice, young, innocent kids, just out of school, both of them. Um, you know, both 18 years of age. Uh, some of the shots I saw of Daniel on TV, they even reminded me a little bit of Thomas, because they were both fair and, and, um, and I just think, you know, for it to happen so close to where Thomas was killed, it was, it, I think it was just unbelievable for us. We're presenting this camera to the proud residents of Potts Point in recognition of their support for two fine young men who lost their lives to senseless violence. Now, this deadly location is no longer a blind spot. This camera, funded by the Thomas Kelly Foundation, will add to the bank of surveillance cameras in King's Cross and other night spots. The Kellys hope is that these cameras will act as a real deterrent to drunken violence and mindless thuggery. I think it's the beginning, to be honest with you. It's the start of a progress. So working with the government and the city of Sydney to actually make change, behavioural change in youth, to say it's not all right to pre-fuel before you go out and hit people because you can't get into a nightclub. And at the other end of the evening, at three o'clock in the morning, it's not all right to fight because you've been drinking all night.